Shin Hati might die before the end of episode four of the Ahsoka show, and I have proof. It's not true. That's impossible. This image right here from the trailers is most likely from episode four that clearly shows Shin Hati, or someone who looks awfully similar, laying on the ground, presumably dead. But wait, there's more. And this image is just the tip of the iceberg for why it makes sense for Shin to die in this next episode. So stick around to the end of this video to see all the evidence as to why I think Shin Hati will die in episode 4. And smash a like on this video and let's break this all down. So why on earth would Shin Hati die in episode 4 of the Ahsoka show? She has become a fan favorite character after just three short episodes. And her character is still a big mystery. We don't know anything about her backstory except for the fact that she is Balin's apprentice. So why kill her off? Well, right now, Balin and Shin just seem like guns for hire for Morgan Elsbeth. And they don't really want to kill Ahsoka. That was made obvious in episode 2 when Balin says, Don't be ashamed. There are so few Jedi left. Now, Balin is a Jedi who survived Order 66, but he's not fully dark side. You can tell because not only does he not want to kill Ahsoka, but his lightsaber is orange, not red. When a Sith Lord obtains a lightsaber, usually by killing a Jedi, they bleed the crystal to make it red. Now, it seems like Balin and Shin bled their crystals, but they're not fully dark side, so they're not fully red, leaving us with these awesome orange lightsabers. So with that being said, I believe that they will kill off Shin Hati because they want to make Balin fully dark side. Think about it, if Ahsoka and Sabine kill off his apprentice, he's gonna be pretty mad. Also, Balin's backstory being a survivor of Order 66 just seems way more interesting than Shin's. And like I said, Balin surviving Order 66 is cool, but he also knows Anakin Skywalker. And let's be honest, Shin is just a nobody. You come from nothing. You're nothing. So although Shin is cool and all and the fan base really seems to like her, she is way less important than Balin and her death would help turn Balin fully dark side. There is also a tension between Morgan Elsbeth and Shin that we get to see throughout the first three episodes. So Shin's death would be okay with Morgan because her plans would not be altered and the mission to save Thrawn would still run smoothly. If it was Balin or Morgan Elsbeth who died in this episode, the mission would definitely not run smoothly anymore. And now for the crown jewel of evidence, this image. Like I said at the top of the video, this dead body laying on the ground looks like Shin. And there's really no other option. The light hair, the gray outfit, it has to be Shin. But what is this scene? Ahsoka is fighting against Balin inside of the star map that we saw in episode 2. Now we've seen this scene in many different trailers for the Ahsoka show. This is when Balin tells Ahsoka that Anakin spoke highly of her. And the only difference between the scenes that we get in the trailer and this image that looks like a dead shin on the ground is the star map behind them is turned off. Now, I don't know why it's turned off, but it is clearly something of importance. It's just weird that all the scenes in the trailers have the star map on, and this one image with possibly Shin dead on the ground has the star map off. Now, of course, I must play devil's advocate on myself here because there is a giant rock behind Shin's body. She could have just as easily been pushed against that rock and been knocked unconscious. But I believe that Shin is dead in this scene because of all the evidence I just laid out in front of you. But tell me what you think in the comment section below. Do you think this is Shin Hati dead on the ground? Or do you think she's just knocked out in this scene? Tell me what you think in the comments. Smash a like on this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video. We go live on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So don't miss out on any of that by hitting that subscribe. And if you want more, go check out this video I just did about the possibility of Captain Rex being in the Ahsoka show.